Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I will be showing you five of my favorite outwear pieces from Zara for fall slash winter 2022-2023. You can dress these up if you're going out to a fancy dinner, on a date, or a holiday party, or you can completely dress these items down. If you want to bum it out and like walk down your street to get a gallon of ice cream and your dirty sweatpants, you totally can and you're still going to look super cute doing it. I actually haven't had any any outwear or if I did it was literally like falling apart just because I was living in Florida every winter so I didn't really have like a reason to go out and get any kind of outwear like pea coats or jackets or anything like I was literally wearing jackets that I had in high school um awkward but true you know if I would come home for the holidays like that's all I would do but I wanted to start off with my favorite 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 piece and it's this faux leather vest also all of these pieces are super affordable so you you can literally go out and get like three or four of these items under $300. And I think that this is a steal. I love this vest. It actually keeps you super warm. And I've been wearing this the past like couple weeks just because it hasn't been like super cold yet. I actually was wearing this a lot to the gym. So I would just wear like my black 90 degree leggings and just like a long sleeve black shirt. And I would just throw this over. And I think this looks super cute. And I would also just like wear my little Adidas baseball cap. And I just thought this was super, super cute. It's just like sporty, but sexy. So this is what I would be wearing out quite a lot. I forgot how much I paid for this. I think it was $69 or something like that. I'm not, I don't really remember. I'm going to attach all of the links to these items down in my description box below. I feel like I got a lot of these items in an extra small except for one. Yeah, this is an extra small. Just because I feel like the small was running a little bit too big. It was a little bit too bulky. So I got all of these in an extra small and I'm pretty tall. I'm five, nine and a half and this fits me very well. It has pockets on the side and it also has like these adjustable strings, which I love because I love just like cinching in at the waist to make the jacket or the vest look super puffy like right now I'm just wearing like a basic shirt and just black jeans with my combat boots and I think this is like so cute if you just want to like go out real quick and you can pair this with like a bag and like still look pretty cute like I would either wear it with my Chanel or I would wear it with my Gucci belt bag and I feel like that would also look super cute so this is item number one and I, I live for it. And so when I went to Zara first, I got this item. I got this puffer jacket, which is made of the same material. And I was so excited to get this just because I love like a good puffer jacket. And I honestly initially went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I went to North Face because I wanted to get like the North Face jacket. And for the price that they have, I think the vest was like $139. And on the website, it looked super cute and super like warm but it literally felt like paper and I was just like I'm not paying a hundred freaking thirty dollars for a thin paper vest like that's not gonna happen and their puffers were also like 200 bucks and I was just like this is like paper like I don't know if that stuff keeps you warm if there's like a science behind it I personally just don't believe in spending that much money for a product that like feels like cheap I'm sorry if like you own a North Face it's just how I feel I do own a North Face too but I own a different one I don't own the one that I wanted for fashion <laughs> but one I found was $330 and it was actually like big and puffy and I liked it but it was $330 so I got this jacket for $88 and it has the same look as the North Face even though it is a fake or faux leather kind of vibe but I like this like I just feel like it's super warm and like cute also in the clothing tag that it came attached with it says that it can keep you warm up to like negative something degrees I don't know if it was Fahrenheit or Celsius but it is pretty warm like it's super super warm i'm already getting hot wearing it it also does have like the drawstrings which i'm all for the drawstrings like i freaking love just like a puffy look up here and like slim look down here this is this is one of my new favorites also and i can finally wear it because it is finally cold in new york so the next one is this puffer jacket with a hood and every item that i got i made sure to get a different one just because i wanted like a variety for my winter slash fall or fall slash winter closet and i feel like i don't know every one of these is different and all of these have pockets except for one or two maybe like i like this because this has like invisible pockets so you can't even like really tell they're there like it took me a while to figure out that these are actually there just like the extra small because i feel like with some of these jackets especially like this one when i was wearing a small it looked like i had a hunchback so this is pretty like roomy i don't know it keeps me warm but if 
as you can tell like i got makeup all over here and that's my only issue i don't really know how to prevent this i like my jacket it's so cute and as i said like i wear this with sweatpants i wear it to the gym i wear it honestly like even if i'm gonna go out like this right now i would totally just wear jeans with it and maybe like a nice bag just to you know add a little pizzazz to this outfit but yeah Super cute. I like that it has a hood because I don't really like wearing hats because I get hat hair. I mean, I'm sure everybody gets hat hair. This is a little bit more on the fancier side, even though I definitely could see somebody wearing this with sweatpants. I mean, I wear everything with sweatpants. I love the bum look. I absolutely love sweatpants. Hello, I'm making sweatpants. I should probably get on that, but do I look like the cookie monster? That's what I feel like I look like. But I feel like this is just so cute and it's so warm and I can wear this to like a New Year's Eve party, a Christmas party, um, maybe even my Thanksgiving party next week. This was a little bit more expensive. It was $119 and it comes in an extra small and a small size. It's a little bit more pricey, but the fur is so soft. Obviously, it's fake fur. It feels real. You know, I, I just save the animals. Don't buy real fur. Stop it. I think it's just so cute. Like, let me show you what I would actually wear this with. I would. Totally wear it with a baseball cap. Maybe a nicer one. I need to get like a designer baseball cap. I keep wearing my Adidas one and I feel like my bag, my shoe, and I'm ready to go. Like this is so cute. This is even like Instagram aesthetic for photos. Obviously remove the tag. And on to the last piece, which I have been dying to get a jacket like that. I'm not gonna lie. And it is, I don't know the proper terminology for it. Maybe it says it on a tag. It's a trench coat or a pea coat, whatever this is. I always wanted one of these in this color and I finally found one. And I just love that Zara makes everything super inexpensive and good quality. $500 or $490 on four or five options for winter that you are actually going to wear. I don't think it's I don't think it's that expensive just because if you go to other brands like H&M or Forever 21 and I have done that, I have like a jacket from H&M and to be completely honest with you, you wear it for like one or two months and if you wash it, it just loses its shape and it craps out. And they're not like super cheap, they're 50 bucks. So pay like $30 more and have something quality. I mean, I like quality, so I think it's definitely worth the money. This honestly goes down all the way to my calves. I wish I could show you, but like, I don't know how to set up my camera, <laughs> but I always wanted one of these. I think this is super cute. It definitely super warm. This isn't a size small just because the extra small, the arms were too short on me and I wanted to, you know, keep my forearms warm. It sucks because there is no pocket, but then again, do I really need pockets? Like I keep so much stuff that is unnecessary in my pockets, but then again, like Metro Cruise and stuff, that, that's where that should go. For my bag, could wear my baseball cap and I'm like, ready to go. Now I feel very New York. I'm kind of like picking up the New York vibe a little bit more and more. I'm still deciding if I want to stay here for the winter or go back to Miami. I don't know. Like I just bought a bunch of outwear. So maybe I should probably stay here and try to like work on my modeling career here. I don't know guys. I've been a mess. I've been so bad with like uploading my YouTube videos. I've been trying to work on my label. I started a production company, Nabasin Entertainment, and I honestly did that because all I do now is I make ad videos for an ad agency, and I kind of really, really love it. So I figured if I do it for an agency, I could do it myself, right? But maybe I'll make a video on that. Let me show you another option. I have a Carhartt hat, but I don't do Carhartt things. It's okay. Do not make fun of me for that. All I do is just work, spend my money, and drink coffee. Today we made a coffee at home. Shocker. So these five outwear items are my favorite. I'm going to wear them all winter long. I do not regret spending the money. I think it's really good quality. And the best part is that if you take care of these, they're gonna last you like for a couple winters. And to be fair, like I don't really see the style changing too much. Like these have been around for quite some time. So if you invest, you know, a little bit of money, you will have this for quite some time. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video and I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I promise I'm gonna get better at this. I have a Key West vlog coming up that I vlogged with my boyfriend over the summer. Sorry, I'm really bad with this, but I have the footage, it's gonna be really fun. And I also have a couple other vlogs that are coming out also. They're more travel vlogs. All of the links to these items are in my description box below. And I will see you again next time. I'm trying to do this twice a week. First of all, I need to upload once a week, but we'll get there. We'll get there. If you want to learn more about me, follow me on my Instagram. It's at Miss Leanna Sky. I should probably get better at social media. I freaking suck at social media. <laughs> all right. 
Ciao. I'll see you next time.